So Sam Altman went on the Joe Rogan experience and Joe asked a really important question on the future of AI. We were joking around the other day on the podcast where I was saying that what we need is an AI government. The, the, we, should, we should have an AI mean? president and have AI Just run make things. all the decisions? Yeah, have something that's completely unbiased, absolutely rational, has the accumulated knowledge of the entire human history. And this is a really important question. AI is developing insanely quickly, and whoever gets to that AI singularity first holds the key to the future of humanity. And there is a serious race happening at the moment between some of the world's biggest companies like NVIDIA, Google, Apple, Tesla, Microsoft, and of course, OpenAI. Chat GPT, maybe you've heard of it. If you haven't, then get ready. OpenAI has created some of the most advanced AI models in history. And when it launched ChatGPT in November 2022, it blew up. It got 100 million users faster than any platform at the time ever. That was until threads, but that didn't last long. And now is valued at over 40 billion US dollars. This AI revolution is the next phase of human development. It's the next step in our human evolution. And according to the Google CEO, this step is going to be more significant than when we discovered fire. What do you compare AI to in the course of human civilization? You know, I've always thought of AI as the most profound technology humanity is working on, more profound than fire or electricity or anything that we have done in the past. As AI develops and the models in which they can train become more and more complicated, Artificial intelligence is going to be able to learn about humanity from a completely different perspective. Take every book ever written from every perspective, mythology, fact, science. Artificial intelligence will be able to scrub through that, find common patterns, common stories, and understand the human history in a way we could never begin to understand it. It's going to understand every single philosophy and link that philosophy to the patterns that it finds in our own systems. And that's really interesting. And I think this is where Joe is getting to is, imagine having a leader that understands why we fight and can prevent that. Understands why we keep repeating the same patterns throughout history and prevent us from doing that. I think we're still very far away from a system that is capable enough and reliable enough that you, that any of us would want that. But I'll tell you something I love about that. Someday, let's say that thing gets built. The fact that it can go around and talk to every person on earth, understand their exact preferences at a very deep level, you know, how they think about this issue and that one and how they balance the trade-offs and what they want, and then understand all of that and, and like collectively optimize, optimize for the collective preferences of humanity or of citizens of the US, that's awesome. This answer is really interesting because it gives us quite a deep understanding of the thinking behind the leadership of this AI revolution. Firstly, the focus on the individual and understanding individual desires, temptations and habits. It follows the trend of what we've seen in social media. The next thing is, Sam says this optimization for the collective preferences of humanity. And again, I can't help but think to what we've seen coming out about social media algorithms and how they influence our individual perception of the world. And one step further, how it goes to change our collective perception of events that are happening in our world. Joe put forward the question that, could these AIs be used for governance? And I think Sam's response shows that that's not the intention. The intention is not for governance, the intention is for profit. Every time there is an era of like an Oklahoma land rush, people lose their minds. Right now, this is not a trillion dollar idea. This is probably a $10 trillion idea, what OpenAI is, okay? Artificial intelligence is gonna be a trillion dollar industry. So of course, there's a lot of incentive in developing more and more complex AIs that understand more and more about humanity, about what problems we can solve. 
and the status quo when it comes to a lot of companies that are involved in this field and especially government is not favorable to the collective experience. It's not favorable to evolving humanity. It's favorable for profit. As long as it's not co-opted, right? Our government currently is co-opted. That's for sure. We, we know for sure that our government is heavily influenced by special interests. If we could have an artificial intelligence government that has no influence, nothing has influence on it. What a fascinating idea. It's possible. And I think it might be the only way where you're going to get completely objective, the absolute most intelligent decision for virtually every problem, every dilemma that we face currently in society. At the end of the day, AI can be the perfect tool for humanity. It can open doors we've been trying to open for years and open doors that we didn't even know existed. Breakthroughs in science, technology, medicine, governance, sociology, psychology. It's going to open up human thinking and the human experience to levels we could have never perceived before. And more importantly, it's going to help us understand the collective goal. It's going to look at humanity and human experience objectively and maybe figure out what is the meaning of life in a way that we could never even think of which I think is amazing and it's exciting and we should work towards that because things aren't going great right now. You know, we keep repeating the same mistakes, we do the same things and at the end of the day, as much as we evolve, we keep tearing ourselves down. If we have something that can hold us accountable to working towards the collective goal, I think we should do it. And even if it doesn't go that far, Artificial intelligence will change the way we live on Earth. At least it has that opportunity and that possibility, if used correctly. And right now, we're putting that if on people like Sam Altman, Elon Musk, Bill Gates. We're putting our future in their hands. And a lot of these people that come out with these revolutionary technologies, I don't think they look at the unintended outcomes or unintended consequences of what their products do. Take the social media industry. People like Mark Zuckerberg and Jack Dorsey have created amazing products, but these products have been used for manipulation, for individualization, for political conflict, to separate ideologies, to suppress and push certain information that favors certain people like we know that this is happening and the same people are creating the next programs it's really concerning that the interests that have gone into social media are the same interests going into ai and it doesn't speak for all ai but at the end of the day the people leading the charge are funded by the same people that have funded social media and that for me is concerning because when it comes to social media, we've really quickly signed away any of our rights. And we just use the platform because it's going to give us that dopamine. We're going to be connected to our friends and it's something that we can't be left out of. And I don't think the AI apocalypse is going to be some Terminator thing. I think it's going to be a more aligned with something like Free Guy, where you have the people at the top who are only inspired and driven by profit marketing, advertising, and sales. And they're going to use our individual primal instincts to drive more profit. And if we don't become aware of that, AI will be used against us. Yeah, I have no disagreement at all that the current system is super broken, not working for people, super corrupt, corrupt and for sure, like, unbelievably run by money. Yeah. And... and I think there is a way to do a better job than that with AI to, in some way. But, and this might just be like a factor of sitting with the systems all day and watching all of the ways they fail. We got a long way to go. A long way to go, I'm sure. What Sam Altman and the OpenAI team have developed is insanely impressive. And 
it's really exciting to see the possibility of where this can go. What concerns me is how Sam answers this question and how surprised he seems to be that we can use this as an objective set of eyes, keeping us and holding us accountable to our human goals, development, evolution, but it doesn't seem to be the focus. And similar to social media, the focus seems to be break individuals down to their bare primal instincts and use those, target those for marketing, for advertising, for sales, for profit. And if we follow the same trend, that's going to be concerning. And with AI, we don't know how far it will go. Things like Ready Player One, where you're in this artificial world, but you're constantly being told to buy stuff and marketing and sales becomes so much more addictive and enticing because it's playing on your base primal instinct. And for an industry that is going to change humanity forever, if it's more important than fire, we really need to be aware of what's happening and we need to be involved in discussions around what's happening because at the end of the day, it's going to affect us most. You know, our lives are going to change incredibly fast. And that race that we spoke about earlier to unlocking and holding the key to humanity's future, everyone wants to be a part of that. This conversation has really highlighted some really important issues that we might face with artificial intelligence. And the question that Joe put forward is really intriguing because it really does highlight the opportunity that we might have with artificial intelligence to have an objective government or at least have an objective eye that can hold government accountable to the collective goals of humanity. That's really exciting. But on the flip side, we can also see what their interest is and what the intention is going into the development of artificial intelligence. I worry about artificial intelligence being used as a tool for more separation, for more division, for more individualism, and for more control. If we don't have the conversations about what our AI future might look like, we might get swept up and by the time we realize, it'll be too late. You know, what makes us unique is our individual perspectives, but how we can bring those individual perspectives to the group. If that is stopped and we're living in our own individualistic worlds, like, what is the goal? I think it's going to be a great thing, but I think it's not going to be all a great thing. And that, that is where I think that's where all of the complexity comes in for people. It's not this like clean story of we're going to do this and it's all going to be great. It's right. we're going to do this. It's going to be net great, but it's going to be like a technological revolution. It's going to be a societal revolution. And those always come with change. And even if it's like net wonderful, you know, there's things we're going to lose along the way. If you guys are enjoying this conversation and you want to hear stuff like this, please subscribe, hit the like button, and let's see what we can do with, with some good conversations. I'm going to link the Joe Rogan podcast with Sam Altman down below, as well as a shorter snippet that Joe Rogan's cut and put on his YouTube. We also have our X page down below. And if you want to join the conversation, if you want to join the community, hit us there where we can chat, we can speak about things and we can share news about what's going on in the world. Have a lovely day. Enjoy it. And we'll see you in the next one.